just last week i told uh, people not to compare ala vaikuntha puramlo with shazad i have a cannot now this is to compare akshay kumar's latest doings selfie with the original driving license so i get the feeling that it's as different as chalk is from cheese and that is a large undoing of this <coughs> film by raj mehta raj mehta will somewhere have to tell us what is he got about uh, surrogacy children of uh, born up to surrogacy the good news man gets that creeping into the uh, script i think uh, largely out of context but that's a besides interesting story la very interesting story jean paul la i hope i've got it right is spent g a e n is jean paul la or jean paul la gave us a masterpiece in 2019 many of us during the covid period got introduced to good malayalam film on ott platforms and watched some kind of a bakeling or a nonsense for uh, mainstream cinema uh malayalam cinema. and having watched a brilliant film by prithvi and uh, suraj vinjara mohan it is so sad watching akshay kumar and imran doing self the whole episode of the film starts with a chance to encounter between the star actor vijay and his fan om prakash agarwal who is an inspector at an rto in charge of having to get driving licenses vijay badly requires a driving license he is a car fan loves driving top end cars with great speed realizes that he doesn't have a license for technical reasons and for a shoot required and therefore has to go to the rto while Vijay is more than glad to do walk the distance. Om Prakash is more than glad to even give him a license. Unfortunately, the fan moment turns into a date with disaster. This escalates into a huge ego battle between the seemingly low-lying official and the all-powerful film star. The pendulum swing of public opinion first in favor of rule abiding officer and then the star shows how fickle the mind of the audience can be and thereafter this is huge ego battle between the two prime characters wonderful storyline as pointed out and as enacted by jean paul la in driving license unfortunately raj mehta gets too much larger than life in getting akshay kumar and getting in imran to play the match the foil i think there's a huge error in the casting as a person who reviews a film i know that my precincts are to take the giving and deal with it but i must move about and say that maybe the cast is where we messed it up i would have loved to see this film starring ajay devgan and raj kumar rao as the protagonist and the antagonist you need two near equals to fight this battle in the film and the script itself moves so steadily so so much in favor of the star actor that somewhere down the line you almost think that the inspector is not doing his job On the other hand, Akshay Kumar is being so over the top loud. Yes, he has his moments, those typical Akshay Kumar one-liners click very well, and he adds that fervor. But come, let's face it, Akshay Kumar is not Prithviraj. There lies the tragedy with the movie. Not Prithviraj's acting talent versus Akshay Kumar's acting talent. but the respective baggages that they carry as actors or stars and what the audience expects out of them 
maybe Malayalam cinema was what driving license required and not mainstream Bollywood. Maybe the film director Raj Mehta lost a trick or two in toning down the star value and raising up the value of the inspector. There is, this is a classic case of mismatch between the two main characters, which makes the battle very theatric at times and very theoretical often. And this robs the film of its soul. I think in all fairness, Akshay has done what he was requested to do or was required of him to do. But that does not mean he has done what the script required of him to do. The battle is uneven and there lies the biggest problem with Raj Mehta. The writing of the film, the casting of the film are suspect values. To have Disha Patmi as the housewife of the albeit of the star is almost like getting Jacqueline Fernandez to play a scientist as she did in the other Akshay Kumar movie. You also have Nushrat Barucha as Imran's spouse, hardly anything to do. Neve Ahuja as the little kid Gabu. Can our filmmakers please stop insulting uh, the intelligence of kids and showing them as badly as they show so often. Why don't they all of them go and see Mr. India or go and take a lesson or two from Shekhar Kapoor on how to deal with children in our cinema. And then Mahesh Thakur as the secretary and Akash Deep Sabir as the film producer are value adds to the film. But the film is substantially the crisis of ego between Akshay Kumar on the one hand, Imran on the other hand. Imran has a script that fails him. Akshay has a script that favors him to a fault. Resultantly, the film falters. Any day, I would sit down and watch Driving License for the nth time, then sit and watch Selfie for the second time. Thank you, Abhinav. Thank you, Datu. Thank you, viewers, for watching this. Do write back your comments. Looking forward. Goodbye.